kind of unsurprisingly, it's, it's a crowded session. And the, the reason it's crowded is because of the rare talent we've got up at the front, um, and the massive amount uh, of knowledge that these guys have, and they hold the keys to the publishing industry, <laughs> jiggling in their hand that might also have something to do with it. Um, I, I think I won't introduce you separately myself, but, but James, starting from you, why don't you just introduce yourselves um, so people know who you are? Uh, my name is Jim Gill, and I am an agent with United in London, which is a company we started a couple of years ago. Um, it's a very broad spread of agents across a whole load of genres of fiction and non-fiction. Um, I'm the only one of them who works at the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's very nice to be sitting up here with the rest of these guys. Right, uh, I'm Peter Buckman. Um, I was a writer, then a publisher, and eight years ago I started the Ampersand Agency. And the first book we took on turned into Slumdog Millionaire, which oh. proves anyone can do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm Jane Judd of Jane Judd Literary Agency, which I set up uh, about 20 years ago after being an editor, and I work for myself. I'm at Folio Literary Management, which is a fairly new agency in New York, and I cover all kinds of genres, as does everybody at our agency. And I'm Judith Murray, and I'm at Green and Heaton. Um, I've been an agent since 1995. Um, my best-known client is Sarah Winters. <coughs> I also represent Poppy Adams, um, who's been shortlisted for the Costa First Novel Award, and Andrew Gillies, whose memoir about Alzheimer's won the George Orwell Prize last year, and the welcome Trust, Welcome Trust Book Award for the year before that. Um, and I love all kinds of fiction, genre fiction and literary fiction. And a bit of non-fiction too, in a memoir is what I love. Um, I'm Andy Topping, also Green and Eaton, and I've been at the agency also since 1995. Um, I represent very equally fiction, non-fiction, as it happens. And my best known writer is um, CJ Sanson, uh, who we represented since... Um, um, his first novel, and that, that and that was you know that the example of his career is is is, is interesting and it's gone like clockwork and it was it, it's been exciting and on the button all the way and that 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 that's been like my proudest achievements in terms of fiction. What we're going to do here is I'm going to ask questions. I won't get six answers each time just because I want to to make sure that we have time to to move things on a little bit. But but as we get going. If you guys have questions, just pop your hand up and we'll, we'll take those questions. Um, but, but let me pick up on something that a number of you said or alluded to, which is that you, you handle stuff across a wide range of fiction. At the Rice Workshop, we get a lot of queries saying, I have written a novel set in the Renaissance course of the Medicis. Which agent specialises in this area? <laughs> I mean... Marcy, you, you say that you're completely broad spectrum. I really am completely broad spectrum. And that would be certainly be something that would interest me. At the same time, I um, have a, a middle grade novel that won the Newbery Award last year. That was about a 11-year-old uh, in a small town in Texas at the turn of the last century who learns about nature from, Dar from reading Darwin with her grandfather. Okay, so, so let, um, let, let's try this as an exercise, actually, all of you. Uh, hands up if you uh, handle fiction and non-fiction. Uh, hands up if you handle commercial and literary. We're all going to do this. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 chick as well as crime? Yeah. yeah. yeah? I mean, it's essentially, the, the message here is people, agents, are non-specialists. You're looking for books you like, I guess. Yeah. I think so. I would add to that say, if you say, I, I've written something set in the court of the, the glories of the Medici, who specialises in that? I think all of us have probably a client who's quite well known on two in a particular area. Mm -hmm. And I think you might ask yourself, do you need a third? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to find room for your book on Chinese horticulture when somebody's got three other best-selling Chinese horticulturists? Which is an interesting response because that brings leads on to the next question. A lot of people think, I've got to personalise my... Uh, covering that, so 
Judith, you represent Sarah Waters, so you're going to love my book, which is Sarah Waters' ish. I mean, you must receive, I guess, a lot of those lessons. I do, and I think that's in some ways a good idea to have a think about the agent you're going to approach and to look at what they represent. And, you know, it's, 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 although I think we are all generalists to a certain extent, I mean, and partly because, of course, we love reading, so we love reading a wide range of things, I think inevitably we all have our own taste and our own personal you know, loves in literature and in general fiction. So if you can do as much research as possible, you know, go online, look at websites, look in the acknowledgements pages of your favourite novels and find out which agents represent the, those writers and then target us. As close but as you then face the risk of mm. you saying... Love your work, but it's too close to Sarah Waters. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, um, Anthony.